Well, hello, everybody. I'm Iggy, and I'm here with Judy and Matt. Um, we are co-organizers of the um, Awake Healer Sacramento group, and Matt is one of the founders of the Awake Healer. So we'd like to go through some introductions. So let me share a um, little presentation. There we go. Can everybody see that? I'm going to minimize this. So this is an introduction to microdosing ayahuasca, non-DMT form. So a little bit about myself and Judy. Um, as, as I mentioned, we are the Awake Healer group leaders and we're both energy healers and cacao ceremonialists. Uh, we are light language practitioners. We also do sound healing and we use a whole bunch of other healing modalities. Um, mm -hmm. We are coaches, integration coaches, uh, life coaches, health coaches. <laughs> <laughs> the, the list goes on. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So did you want to add anything else, Judy? Um, well, the, I just kind of wanted to say that, you know, our well, for me, I, my journey started um, with plant medicine four years ago in an ayahuasca ceremony, and it changed my whole life, changed the trajectory of my life. And so um, it has been, plant medicine has been a very powerful, you know, part of my life since, since, since then, since 2016. Um, and so um, Iggy and I have been uh, working with you know, plant medicine together. And we see cacao as plant medicine and we've been doing cacao ceremonies in the Sacramento area for the last um, like two and a half years, almost three years um, now. And we, you know, came up across this opportunity to work with Matt and Laura um, in using the ayahuasca in non-DMT form. So I'm just thankful that that we, we connected um, because we know the power of this sacred medicine. And even though the drops aren't in the, uh, you know, it's not a cer ceremonial uh, form of the medicine, it is the healer and the teacher aspect of the medicine that you're getting in the ayahuasca drops. And that can be, you know, super powerful too. So I just wanted to talk about our, our plant medicine journey um, together. Iggy and I do plant medicine retreats. We take people to Costa Rica um, to do ayahuasca. We work with a medicine woman there. We do our own retreats and Mount Shasta and private one-on-one -on -one retreats with people and um, among all the other things listed <laughs> on, on there. And this is really our mission on the planet is to help people heal and to help people come back to themselves, help people to know who they are and understand who they are and remember who they are as powerful beings of light, powerful beings of love. And we use these different modalities to help others get back to the true essence, the soul part of themselves. And I think that's it. Okay. So. I'd like to next introduce Laura and Matt Stoker, who are the founders of the Awake Healer Movement. And perhaps it'd be best for Matt to speak uh, about that and introduce himself. Well, <clears throat> well, first of all, I just want to say thank you for uh, being a part of this. You guys are so amazing. And I'm sure that your all that you do would go off that page <laughs> i mean um it's one thing to listen to you guys and um and feel your energy over a over a zoom call but it's another thing to actually participate in one of your ceremonies and um and to just witness the love that you <laughs> have for everybody and is you guys are just so amazing and Laura and I are so grateful to have connected and 
you know, there are no coincidences in life. Yes. Um, we are for better or for worse. Again, Judy, you are connected <laughs> to us forever. <laughs> yes. Yep. For sure. For and sure. I, and I just want to say thank you again for coming mm -hmm. out here and really setting the stage for something so magical. I mean, really, there's no other word to describe. I mean, mm -hmm. I, <clears throat> adjectives do not, would not do justice to this week that we just had. And if I look absolutely exhausted, <laughs> I'm absolutely <laughs> exhausted. And, um, but it's such a good exhaustion and I'm so happy. I feel, my heart feels so full. Um, I do have to take people to the airport at 3 a.m. Yeah. So, <laughs> so okay. I'm not going to sleep tonight. But um, so I apologize. And I know you don't want to be all of you guys on this uh, Zoom call. I apologize as well because you do not want to listen to me. You want to uh, <laughs> see and listen to my wife because my wife is so amazing. And um, <clears throat> she's incredible. She does not have a selfish bone in her body, cell in her body. She is just so loving and kind. And, um, you know, <clears throat> kind, loving people, they aren't just born, you know, they're made. And um, sometimes they're made through extremely difficult circumstances. And that's definitely the case with my wife. Um, when we met, uh, we had both been married previously and our spouses had mental illness. And um, Unfortunately, uh, Laura's circumstance coming out of her marriage was much more difficult than mine. Uh, her, uh, her, her husband of 22 years ended up taking his life. And that was eight months after her son-in-law, her oldest daughter, had been married for 10 months. And she married somebody that suffered from, uh, from mental illness, just like her father. And he ended up taking his life. And <clears throat> when the family was in this turmoil... Uh, her husband just spiraled down and ended up taking his life as well. And uh, we immediately connected with our, um, with our bonds of, of pain. And, um, and we just understood each other where we were at. And, and <clears throat> I describe being married uh, to somebody with mental illness as like riding a roller coaster with a blindfold on. I mean, you just never know if you're going up or down or doing a loop de loop or, <clears throat> or what. And, when she told me a little bit of what she's been through, I knew that she was solid gold, you know, because honestly, I kind of thought that I was a hero for, um, for doing what I did, you know, for so long. And, and uh, both of us were raised religious. And so when you get married, it's, uh, we were Mormons. And so, <clears throat> you know, Mormons, you get married uh, for time and all eternity and you just don't, you make covenants with God and you just don't back out of those things. And, um, and so it was really difficult for us. Well, um, I, uh, I also was suffering from a uh, pituitary tumor and I was on some very strong uh, medication. I had a prolactinoma and uh, my body was pushing out the hormone prolactin, which was not good. And it was killing me. And um, we, so we kind of bonded through our mutual pain and, about six months into our marriage, I realized how much Laura's PTSD was affecting her. And every time her phone rang, she would answer, is everything okay? You know, it's just not normal behavior. And um, <clears throat> I knew that I knew she needed help. Well, we started hearing about ayahuasca. I had never heard of that word before in my life. And all of a sudden I started hearing that all the time. It was like, once a week, I was hearing this thing, and I was listening to uh, Joe Rogan, and um, it seemed like it was everywhere. Well, one night we were laying in bed, and a friend of ours made this post on Facebook about his experience, and we called him. And I just said, what is this ayahuasca stuff? What are you doing? And we just sat there and listened to him for about a year, uh, a year for about an hour, and uh and it was amazing. We, when we hung up the phone, we thought, well, Jimmy is either crazy or this is the most amazing thing we've ever heard. And we started, uh, we bought every book we could on ayahuasca. 
We watched every video. And two months later, we found ourselves in the jungle of Peru. And <clears throat> my wife and I had never taken any mind altering substance. And people like to make fun of us and say, so you went straight to ayahuasca, huh? You know, and uh, we were desperate. You know, I think we would have probably drank anything, you know, that we thought would give us healing. And we got way more than we bargained for. I mean, Laura, Laura, 45 minutes after drinking, she was in front of her deceased husband. And she was able to share everything that she needed to say. And, um, and she was healed of her PTSD and that trauma. And then uh, <clears throat> my situation with my ex-wife is ongoing. <laughs> I spoke with attorneys uh, for quite a long time this evening. Actually, it's just ongoing. But I haven't seen my oldest daughter in years because of this situation. And, um, and ayahuasca helped me tremendously. I was able to understand her pain, you know, and there's a phrase that hurt people hurt people. And ayahuasca was actually able to allow me to feel her pain and help me understand where she was coming from. And I just felt nothing but love and compassion for her now. It's completely changed my perspective. And when you really think about it, <clears throat> a lot of times in our pain and our suffering, all we really need is we need a different perspective. We need to understand the other person. And um, I was able to see my daughter that I haven't seen in over four years. And I was able to embrace her in this maloka in the jungle. It doesn't even make sense, but it was as real as I'm talking to you guys right now. I mean, that's how real it was. And it was absolutely magical. The greatest experience of my life, actually, to this day, the greatest experience of my life. And I was able to transmit to her my love, my protection, everything that a parent wants to give their child. And um, I, as you can tell, I'm getting emotional now. I still can't wrap my head around it. I... Then in a subsequent ceremony, I was able, I was told when I started to feel the medicine to look up and open my mouth. And I looked up and I opened my mouth and a laser came down and forgive me for sharing this because I normally don't share this because I, I don't want people to think I'm crazy, but I was, I was healed of this pituitary tumor, totally healed of it. Um, and I knew it right away. I mean, I knew that this actually happened and it only lasted. I was only in the medicine for five minutes. And for those of you that have ever had ayahuasca, when you, when you drink ayahuasca, it is like you just got on that ride at magic mountain and you ain't getting off that thing, you know, till the ride's over. And with ayahuasca, that ride lasts, you know, can last up to eight, nine, 10 hours. And mine lasted five minutes, the length of the surgery. And then the same voice said, relax. And uh, you're, you're healed. And I, I've been going to a doctor. This was about three years ago. I've been doing, going to a doctor like every three or four months to get checked. And everything's perfect. And um, I share this with you because it, these experiences completely changed our lives. And it's not easy. I mean, it would be great if I said that I went down there and it changed my situation and my ex-wife and I are great friends or that uh, Laura's pain and her kids, she has six kids, was taken away, you know, but I, it just, it's a complete change of perspective. And um, any of you that have been through a huge heartbreak in your life uh, and have felt that hole in your heart um, I can just tell you that this medicine, it, it's, it is miraculous. And there is a spirit in the vine of ayahuasca. Now it's illegal because of the chacruna leaf that in ceremony, most of the tourists that when they go down to Peru or they go to Costa Rica, they want to see the visions. They want the fireworks, but <clears throat> but the actual healing and uh, the spirit that 
that causes these miraculous changes. It's in, it's in the pure vine of ayahuasca. It's in p the pure Banisteriopsis capi. And um, I have a tendency, guys, I apologize to be very long-winded. <laughs> so I apologize. I'll try and keep it short. I know it's a Friday night, but I just want to say through a series of miraculous events, um, I, ayahuasca, we went back down to Peru for Laura's second oldest daughter that was, she is the only one that had not taken any therapy and she was starting to self medicate. And, um, and we went back down for her and Laura was told through ayahuasca that she needed to write a book, which she did and that she needed to share plant medicine with the world. And the book is called joy is my answer. We don't, we don't make any money on it. Um, it, that was just something that she did because ayahuasca told her to do it. And it's on Amazon. Joy is my answer. Just look for the very, very beautiful woman on the cover. That's her book. And, um, and it's kind of a chronicle of her journey of healing. Uh, and ayahuasca plays a very big part of that. Well, we kept a lot of these experiences silent, you know, because we live in a Mormon community all of our friends, our circle, they're all Mormon. And what would you think if, the, if a friend that you've known forever comes out and says they went to the jungle and a laser beam came down and healed them, you'd think that they're crazy too, right? And so we didn't want anyone to think we're crazy, so we kind of kept it to ourselves. Well, uh, we couldn't keep it to ourselves anymore. Um, Things had happened, miracles had occurred, and we just felt like we couldn't keep it to ourselves. So we started coming out and, um, and telling people about it. And it's so interesting because even in the Mormon community, <clears throat> well, my post on Facebook talking about this, I didn't receive very many comments. But my DMs, I just learned that from my teenager kids, you know, I, I don't know even know what that means, but sliding into my DMs, my direct messages or whatever they call it. I, I was, was blowing up and everyone was going, where do I get this? What do I do? How do I do that? You know? And um, we're all the same. It doesn't matter what religion or philosophy or what, it, you know, if you've been on this earth for a little while, you're going to encounter some things that you need to heal from. Right. And, um, and, Ayahuasca really for me was it shattered the prism that I viewed myself, the world, everything through it, that prism was shattered into a million people pieces. And I, I can honestly sit here and tell you that I don't, I, I don't have clarity on a lot of stuff. I don't, you know, I mean, I don't understand a lot of this. I don't understand, uh, how, how Judy busts out in light language and can channel other people and, um, and see things. I, I don't understand that. But I always knew as a Mormon, I knew that uh, these things existed. I knew that there was angels. I knew that we had protection. And, um, and ayahuasca just makes that very apparent, you know, um, I think it was Dennis McKenna that said, you don't have to have any faith. You just drink it. See what happens. You know? and, and my friends that think I'm crazy, I just go, you know what? Drink it. You tell me what happens. You know, you, you tell me if you think I'm crazy afterwards. And uh, <clears throat> so we started. And I think that that's all it takes really is taking a step uh, to see for yourself. Take a step to try and learn. And really what it is, is taking a step to uncover the, 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 um, uncover the things that we don't want to look at in our lives. Uncover the things that are holding us back. Uncover the things that are causing us pain. Take a look at them, you know, and ayahuasca is just a tool. But there are so many tools that God has given us. And many of these tools or many of these blessings come in the form of people like Judy and Iggy. I mean, honestly, they are servants of God or source or whatever you want to call it. And um, 
to, to bring these different healing modalities, these different understandings um, to light. And so Laura and I, we, um, I started interviewing people all over the world because I wanted to know that I wasn't crazy. And well, I knew I wasn't crazy, <laughs> but I wanted, I wanted to stand behind other people. You know, I didn't want to be the guy walking out there with a spotlight on me saying, listen to my story. You know, I wanted to stand behind other people. And when you listen to Judy's story and, and kind of, of awakening and Iggy's story, they're amazing. They're incredible. And you, you guys probably all have similar stories and I honor that, you know, and I'm so appreciative because it makes me feel less, le less alone, you know, less naked, I guess you could say, but I started interviewing people and my plan was to create a website by the type of healing that was performed, the type of medicine, because I, I was reaching out to people mainly for, to talk to them about ayahuasca. But then I started hearing about plants and healing modalities I'd never heard of before. They were telling me about Iboga and they were telling me about San Pedro and they were telling me about Bufo and all these other things that I didn't know anything about. And then I quickly realized, and, and my mind was blown. I mean, <clears throat> I'm surprised I have any mind left to blow because I, <laughs> I'm like, I can't, there's nothing else that I can possibly hear that's going to surprise me. But every day I'm surprised by something today. And I was working and she came in with tears in her eyes. She told me her experience. And my wife is the most sober woman you'll ever meet, you know, and to hear her share her story is just so touching. And, um, and these are all experiences of healing. And uh, so I started doing these interviews and I interviewed somebody that told me their story of complete total transformation. And it was because somebody at the VA, he was on disability. He couldn't hold a job. He had really bad PTSD. His wife had left him and he met someone at the VA whose life was completely changed just from the pure vine of ayahuasca. And he actually asked him, he said, what happened to you? And he said, I've been microdosing ayahuasca. He says, ayah, what? What is that? And he put him in contact with this gentleman in Peru. And when he said his name, I said, wait a minute. I just met him. I was down in Peru. He, I, I left my personal belongings at his house. And, um, and all these synchronistic uh, events have happened. And, and I started microdosing and I could tell you my experiences with that, but um, I'm getting, I'm talking way too long, but suffice to say what we decided to do is we decided to try and get the Banisteriopsis capi, the pure vine of ayahuasca into as many people's hands as possible. Because what I had experienced was miraculous just with the vine with a few drops under my tongue. And my wife and I are, um, <clears throat> where my wife is one of the leaders in a company called doTERRA and it's essential oils, which are also plant medicine and science can't, you know, uh, either we have on our website, awakehealer.com. If you go to the blog, you can read, we've put a lot of the science and the, a lot of the study behind the beta carbolines, the alkaloids behind this, but it, it can't, it, science can't explain spirit. And all of these plants have, a, they have a spirit. And all these plants, you know, you can't explain how it is that you get healing from these things. You can't explain it. it it's unexplainable, right? And um, I can tell you, I've been healed from essential oils. I had horrible sinus issues. And... Um, I don't know why before ayahuasca, I didn't see it as the plants healing me. I just thought, well, pff, damn, uh, that, well, that worked. You know, I figured maybe, maybe it was just, uh, I don't know. Um, I had a surgery because my sinus infections were so bad. And uh, then I met Laura. And my sinus, if any of you are ever considering having your turbinates rebuilt, your sinuses rebuilt, think long and hard about that surgery because 
I was worse for it. And I was just miserable. And I was back on the, um, on the an, uh, antibiotic merry-go-round. It was horrible. I'd, I'd get, as soon as I get off, I'd feel better for two weeks. Then I need to get back on antibiotics. I was just on this merry-go-round and Laura gave me some oils to rub on my face and to diffuse on the nightstand. And I thought it was a joke, but Laura was so beautiful. I, I would have done anything she asked me to do. But, but since I met her, I, I, I have not <laughs> you know, like put that on me, put it on me anywhere you want. You know, that's fine. But um, I, uh, I have not been on antibiotics for a sinus infection since then. And uh, so all these miracles started to happen. All these synchronistic things started to happen. And we've attracted the, some of the world's best programmers and graphic designers and, uh, and writers and um, shamans and just the most amazing group of people to create uh, this, this platform called Awake Healer. And what, it's, what, what Awake Healer is... This is a platform where people like Iggy and Judy and, and shamans like, uh, like Leo in my house right now and, uh, and Crystal and very special gifted people that are at my house can congregate and share their knowledge, their experience, their wisdom with everyone. And, um, and where a guy like me who doesn't know a whole lot can share his experience because our, our personal experience is what's most powerful. And, um, <clears throat> you know, you can tell me I'm crazy, but I know what I experienced. I know what healed me, you know, and that's what we want to do is we want to get these healing modalities, these medicines that are legal, by the way, we don't want to do anything illegal. Um, my wife's a presidential diamond. That's, you know, the average income is $125,000 a month. We don't want to jeopardize anything that we've been doing in our lives. I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. We don't want to do anything that jeopardizes our, our livelihoods. You know, um, this is all perfectly legal, but it's something that needs to get out there. And it, it's something that ordinary people need that are struggling. And all of us need these things. All of us need to learn about these healing modalities. If not to heal ourselves, heal our loved ones. You know, um, I had uh, one of my really good friends, his daughter contracted a, a disease called Batten's disease, where basically a protein was eating her brain. And I had to sit there and watch my friend watch his daughter die. And, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that uh, ayahuasca would have healed her. But let me tell you, if I would have known about ayahuasca, I think there would have been a really good chance. I think that maybe she could have healed. And, um, and it's worth a shot anyway. And energy healing and all these other forms of, uh, of healing. So that's what our uh, Awake Healer is, is it's this platform where people can learn about different plant medicines and also participate in live experiences. We're going to have very soon on our live, we call it miracle stream. It's, it's live events each day. We will have at least 30 live events a day um, starting the first quarter of 2021. So we just launched this. Um, our store is going to be open soon selling, um, we have a warehouse in Salt Lake City. We'll have more indigenous products from the Amazon and other far-flung places in the world than anywhere. I, I'm fairly certain of that. And like uh, Iggy and Judy just mentioned, combo. You may ask, well, what is that? Well, it's the secretion of the Phylomedusa bicolor Amazonian tree frog. And the native peoples, the Indians down there, call these frogs down from the trees and they, they scrape off like a sweat off their back and they put it on sticks. We have more combo or compote than probably anybody in the world. And that's because we want to train people on how to utilize this and then purchase it from us at a discount. We just want to get this medicine out to the people. And then we also want to showcase other members like Iggy and Judy and 
who they are and the events that they put on because we want you guys to heal and we want you guys to connect with these very powerful special people and uh and we have retreats my best friend uh since i was a child jared turner has this amazing incredible mansion in costa rica and uh through divine intervention <laughs> Um, he sat next to the founder of the, the retreat center, Rhythmia, which is the largest retreat center, uh, plant medicine retreat center in the world. They sat across from each other on a first class flight. And at the end of the flight, Jared called me and he said, Matt, I want you to make my house a retreat center to heal people. And he said, I, I couldn't, my mind was blown. I talked to Jerry. He said that 97 out of 100 people upon leaving his center, they say that they have experienced a miracle in their life. And he said, I want to do that for people, Matt. And now we have three retreat centers, um, two in Peru, one in Costa Rica. And we want to have them all over the world, Bali and all these other beautiful, amazing uh, spiritual places available where people can go and experience a beautiful culture and, uh, and some of these medicines that aren't legal here in the United States. So that's really... Um, <clears throat> who we are, what we're doing. And uh, we just want to get this medicine into people's hands and we want to be available for anybody that has any questions or I apologize. My wife, she must be playing hostess to a bunch of people, but I know she would want to say hello, but do any of you have any questions about it? You can learn more at awakehealer.com. And we can kind of go through, you know, um, the presentation and, um, a little bit, and so uh, we can walk, walk, walk oh. through that. Oh um, yeah. Um, it, um, so you want me to? Iggy has it. Screen? Iggy has it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just. You have it. I can look, load it up. So. Mhm. Mm Let's. And so, um, one of the things I mean for us, Iggy and I are really excited to know that there, through Awake Healer, that there is a place in Costa Rica um, because I love Costa Rica. And we, are, we already do retreats in Costa Rica, and I eventually want to move there, you know, and have my own wellness center in Costa Rica. So we are going to take people to that place, Matt. We're going to to Jared's and take people. I'm going with you. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, come, come with that's Come a dream with. to be with I think, you. Here. I think we're going to be the first ones to use it, to use it because I'm already in planning mode. Matt. <laughs> well, that's not perfect. I'm planning it already. Well, right. it, is, it is first class. Jared just spent $30,000 on new linens. I mean, it's just, uh, it's unbelievable. Um, do those linens have crystals in them? <laughs> I, I don't know. But knowing Jared, maybe they do. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, okay. I would like to sleep on crystals. <laughs> All right. So, so um, do I have controls of this, or do you just? Uh, I can, I can advance it. I can. I don't know how I can give you the controls of, of, of this, but I can well, advance that's it. That's okay. I can just ask you to change the slide. So, sure. so really, you know, Laura and I, we're just like you. I mean, we're no, um, we haven't, uh, we, we we don't speak light language yet, um, or anything. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we just. Um, we're just people that kind of heeded the call to help other people learn about these things. And it's changed our lives so much. And, um, and what we, uh, what awake healer is, like I said before, it's just, it's a community. So it's, you know, it's comprised of people that have never heard of these things before that just want to learn more. And then you've got healers and people that have dedicated their lives towards, um, you know, facilitating, um, these these things for others so yeah if you want to go to the next slide and so our our vision like um like i was saying before is just to equip and empower people to heal themselves and one thing that we touched on this week um with the combo training you know we had a, a shaman come in from miami and then we had another uh, shaman come in from california and <clears throat> You know, one thing that was reiterated was that um, as, you're just a servant of the medicine. 
you know. So the shamans and, and Iggy and Judy, um, the way that there was absolutely no ego, they were here to help us and help guide us and um, understand what was happening, you know. Um, cacao is very powerful. I mean, you know, I don't cry very much, um, maybe talking about my kids or something, but but I found myself with just tears coming down my face with cacao. It just, it really does just open you up. So these, these things, um, these medicines are here to, uh, to heal us. And then um, the community is here to support you, to understand what's going on and to help you, uh, maybe direct you, guide you to something that you need that maybe they have experience with. If you want to go to uh, <clears throat> Next slide. So one thing that, um, that we recognized is in order for people like Iggy and Judy, very busy, successful healers, in order to get them to want to participate and to contribute, we needed to be able to have a way for them to make money. You know, um, money is just, it's an energetic, energetic exchange. It's a way for for us to value them. And then um, uh, doTERRA, which is my wife, my wife's company that she's a leader of, um, is the perfect way. We found that that's the perfect way because you cannot have an ego or be selfish and make it in that business because it's all about helping others. And because these are plant medicines, these essential oils, um, it's just perfect for introducing people to different medicines. And, you know, whether it's peppermint um, uh, or a blend called, check this out, it was sitting here on the desk, called past tense. You know, this is better than any acimetophen that I've ever had. You know, you got a headache, you just rub it on your forehead, your headache's gone. For me, in 60 seconds, headache's gone. It's, it's, like, it's like a miracle thing. You know, and, and that's the best way for somebody that has no prior experience with plant medicine. It's such a perfect way for them to get introduced and start to understand these things. Because when you put, you rub an oil on your head and your headache's gone 60 seconds later, you're a believer, you know, for life. It's like, I don't understand what just happened, but sign me up, right? And so that's what we're trying to do. And, um, and so... We, we want to make access to these medicines available. Um, when somebody makes a purchase of these essential oils, we give them access to the site and we give them access to these live streaming uh, events. We give them access to free courses. The combo course that took place here at our home this week was, uh, was free. These courses are free. Um, for members of Awake Healer. And, and members, membership is just uh, a commitment to purchase a certain amount of oils each month from doTERRA. And when you make that purchase each month, that also is the minimum amount to qualify to earn money. So when you recommend to other people, hey, you need to listen to Iggy and Judy, they're doing a live event, or listen to Matt and Laura, listen to somebody that is doing, uh, we have some very well-known, famous people actually in the world of um, anthogens, um, uh, psychedelics, uh, plants, herbs, herbalists, yogis. Um, so, it, so it's an opportunity for people to do guided yoga, guided meditation, guided breath work, these other healing modalities, and, and to get certifications as well. So today, it's really cool. Um, these people received, uh, let me see. I don't know if I've never done this before, but I want to see if this will actually work. I want to show you a picture. Oh, let me, let me stop present presenting right now. Oh, oh no, here. I'm just going to oh. show my phone. I was just going to show my phone, a, a, a photo of what happened. Um, you know what? I don't think I can, uh, it's not pulling up, but here's, here's us. Um, this is Iggy and Judy and, and the whole squad Aww. here on Sunday for the ceremony. And then, oh, I know where I know where the photo I wanted to show. I know where it's located. It's on the group leader page. I'll show that. 
but um, so yeah, we had we had uh, some some special people come and and do the training, these uh, shamans, and uh, so everybody got their. There's Leo, the shaman, there in the middle, but they got their certification, their combo certification. So what this enables them to do is now they're facilitators of combo, so they can administer this medicine to other people, and they can make money. You know, and that's what it's about. It's about supporting people through their, through their journey of healing. Could we go back to the presentation? Yeah, absolutely. There is one thing I'd like to point out and um, just to um, honor you and Laura for the work you're doing because there is cost associated with harvesting ayahuasca, with, with um, making into paste, which is then shipped to you guys. And then you have Transporting to- Transporting it here. You have to, pay for transportation and all the import fees and in warehousing and reconstitution, bottling and, and distribution. There's so much money that it all costs. And all you're, all you're asking for is for somebody to purchase so much of doTERRA oils. We're essentially getting two for one deal. Uh, you know, clearly you guys are not doing it for money. That is, that is obvious. Um, Thank you for saying I, that. I just yeah. wanted to look, interject that because that was maybe lost on some people and and you guys spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to make this work and and to to spread this medicine to humanity so i want to thank you again for doing this yeah. and and doing it with your pure hearts so thank you for that thank no. you so much thank you no thank, thank you. you guys well we just um we just feel tremendously blessed and um we just don't have the desire to accumulate stuff, you know? Um, actually, this is important. The very first night that I microdosed ayahuasca, I had a message come through. I had never lucid dreamed in my life. And I, I was in a lucid dreaming state the entire night. And I was receiving messages. And then I would grab my phone and I would type the messages into my phone. And one of the messages was money equals slavery. Yeah. And I thought, what does that mean? Hmm. Money hmm. equals slavery, right? Well, after thinking about it, I've realized, <laughs> you know, we live in this uh, 8,000 square foot house with an elevator on fully landscaped five acres and uh we've got a bunch of crap you know just too much stuff you guys can attest you don't have to sh share though how how much crap we have <laughs> <laughs> you guys just got a house full of children in we, there so and a lot of crap you understand. You know? and uh and and you know and um w at some point instead of owning the stuff the stuff owns you and so this is something that, I mean, Chad Hart, one of the people that works with us, um, that's quitting his job to help us. His wife was in a car accident and, uh, well, she was on a bicycle and a car hit her and she suffered a traumatic brain injury. And uh, Chad and his wife have traversed the country going to specialists all over and they've tried everything. He bought a $6,000 laser thing to help her and um and she said she has not felt peace like she has with the microdose in the pure vine of ayahuasca she said i finally my mind is at peace from the pure vine so what is that worth you know to us that's worth it you know for all that we've done up until this point that's worth it just for chad's wife you know and uh but it's it's healing people and it's helping guide people and bring people in to learn of these other things so yeah could you go to the next yes slide and i'll try and go really fast here so so you guys can learn about the microdosing of ayahuasca on the wake healer website i won't uh, talk to you about much more of that um, could you go to the next slide please mm -hmm. um yeah, so you can read about the benefits on the website, but it, it, it's, it's like Dennis McKenna said, 
you can study all you want about it, but you just got to try it, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. So just skip, skip this. Oh, oh, so the, so the research we've been working with the top researchers, uh, in this field of ayahuasca research, PhD researchers, Rachel Harris, and then kind of the father of microdosing, Jim Fadiman, we've, uh, they helped us create a protocol. And so this will be the largest study ever conducted uh, of microdosing Banisteriopsis capi. And it's, it's, un, it's gonna be unbelievable uh, to participate in that and gather this research. Yeah, that's another gift to humanity as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, I think that it's what needs to be done in order for, you know, um, further research to be done. And anything right now, what we need to do is we're just gathering the data. It's going to be a huge study, though, huge. I mean, thousands of samples, thousands of people. And Rachel already has told me, Matt, we already have, you know, dozens of publications that will publish it. Um, and then once that data is published, then you're going to have the peer reviewed, you know, the major university. We have several universities that want to work with us, but it, it costs a lot of money. I mean, we're talking uh, north of six figures and um, we're just not there yet. It's at some point, yes, we'll spend that money if we feel that that's our calling. But right now, that's not our calling. Our, our calling is just to get this into people's hands, heal people gather that data, publish that data, and then let the people whose lives are in doing these types of study do the study. So yeah, if you could go to the next slide, please. Um, <clears throat> now the, the communities are, are really what's what the, the foundation of this. It's all about your local community, you know, here in Salt Lake City, gathering people together. Um, <laughs> we've actually had Aaron, you guys met Aaron, right? Yes. Yeah. The, 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 the yes, third, year, mm -hmm. third year medical student. Yeah. He's here uh -huh. right now. He's at our house Oh yay! and uh, he spent the night at our house, um, the past few nights. I mean, these are the types of bonds and, and communities that are created through plant medicines is we can't get rid of Aaron. <laughs> he just wants to live here he, and um well, and just, plants unite us matt that's like the download that keeps coming to me is that plants unite us and we wouldn't be here on this call or we wouldn't have that for it for you know these sacred plants so i'm so grateful it's so true it's so true um yeah so so the the community it is the purpose of it is to get together have these experiences um, with people that you know and you trust. And so, um, you know, you get together as strangers, but after, after you have a cacao ceremony with Iggy and Judy, or you just sit in a circle, experience a healing modality like meditation, and then you talk about your experiences with microdosing, you become bonded and um, instantly. It's, it's pretty amazing. I, I, I haven't experienced um, anything that has, has, has created such unity like these plants and these experiences. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Um, yeah, so you, you have this group experience, but then it's not just about um, your local community. It's not just about Iggy and Judy's group because um, now, Iggy and Judy, right? You've reached out. You've connected with other group leaders, uh, uh, Candy and yes. Tiffany and Mindy West and Issa Mendoza and these people all over the world. And so, and wherever you go in the world, you will be able to go to our website and you will be able to find where the Awake Healer events, the community, the group is located and, uh, and be able to participate in their events. We just had an event uh, last weekend in San Diego that was just off the, off the chain. <laughs> I love saying that, off the chain. Yeah, it was just amazing. They had a really special um, musician come in and uh, everybody spent the night. There was like 100 people. They spent the night there on this 38-acre 
uh, property on a vortex. It's a spiritual vortex. Just amazing. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Um, so this is this is talking about uh, group leader stuff. If you really want to be more involved and you want to really look at making money with this just by sharing this with other people, then you may want to talk to Iggy and Judy about taking a more active role in, uh, in reaching out and recruiting, you know, but it's not sales. I want to make sure that everybody understands this is not selling anything. Um, this is just reaching out and talking to people, sharing your own personal story, and then uh, inviting them to be a, play a part in it. And some people, um, they don't want anything to do with making the money. In fact, I was just talking to somebody yesterday, yesterday evening. She has hundreds of thousands of followers on social media. And she just loved what we were doing. And she said, I will do live events. I will give you some courses to put on your website for free. You don't have to pay me anything. I don't need anything. That's fine. So, um, so yeah, yeah. Next slide, please. Uh, yeah, let's, let's skip this for right now. Let's go to the next slide. Um, yeah, so this presentation, I think, um, okay. Expert education. So yeah, lectures, training, certification, um, combo to, to be a practitioner of combo. The cheapest program I'm aware of is about $2,000. And so we do that for free. Um, and we're going to have, we have cacao. If you want to learn how to be a cacao ceremonialist, you want to learn everything there is to know about cacao. We have that course on our website so for free. So you can take that and learn about that. We have the best cacao in the world. Um, we can attest to that. We can attest yeah. to the cacao. We can. It's the best. Once we tried it, we couldn't go back. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Yeah. So we have access to these very difficult to find uh, medicines. We also, I'll just mention this um, right fast, is we're working directly with these people that have safeguarded these tribes that have used and safeguarded these medicines for thousands, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of years. And we want the profits from what we're doing to stay with them. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're working with doTERRA to get them the education, the technology that they need to properly harvest, sustainably harvest these medicines, you know, for years to come and empower them. So it's not us hiring them. It's us working with them because we don't want to exploit them in any way. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you could go to the next slide. Um, yeah, so that's that's Jared's house there. I, it's just absolutely unreal. It's so incredible. Um, it's in Costa Rica near Jaco. It's uh, the beach is called Playa Hermosa. It's amazing. Okay, next slide. Um, yeah, business financial co coaching. Mindy West. Um, she's one of these people, just like Iggy and Judy, that um, have a lot of gifts to offer. And she has a pure heart. She lived in Peru for about 10 years and she's just a very powerful person. And so um, one of the things that she teaches, she's a financial genius. Um, she graduated in finance, went to work for PricewaterhouseCoopers. Um, she worked for Microsoft uh, in, in, as a consultant, helping individual business units within Microsoft kind of streamline their processes and maximize uh, efficiencies and profits. She's just a genius with money and helping people eliminate their uh, self-limiting beliefs, like just get rid of those um, things that hold, hold us all back, right? We all have those. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and she offers that up for free. That's um, on the site as well. And then of course, Laura and I always make ourselves available for whatever questions or whatever help you need. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Um, yeah, so um, like I mentioned before, we really, we've spent a lot of money um, building this. We don't regret any of it. Um, <clears throat> and we know it's still going to cost a lot of money and we're investing. We'll have hundreds of thousands of dollars in these indigenous medicines in our warehouse. But this is the way that we fund everything is through our doTERRA business, our doTERRA income. 
Um, so we want to help other people be able to participate and utilize these medicines. That's what they are. And so this is just the perfect way to do that. There's no commitment. You can quit anytime. If you don't like the oils, you don't like the ayahuasca, sell it. You know, we give, we give it away. The, the, um, the, the be cappy, we give it away. And, uh, when our website, when we were, we put, took our website live, if you look, it's not completely finished yet. In fact, the, the store isn't even open to make purchases. But when we took the lo- website live for like an hour, we had three people try and purchase the be cappy at a hundred dollars a bottle, you know? And, uh, so there's definitely demand out there and we, we give that away for free. And someone makes a hundred dollars or hundred hundred PV order of oils. So PV basically equals it's dollar for dollar with essential oils. So, so about a hundred dollars in oils. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So we share our knowledge. Let's go to the next slide. I think we all know that. So we share our experiences through these retreats, um, <clears throat> meetup groups, and then we share. Um, we lift each other up. So. As we share with other people about what we are doing with Awake Healer, and they sign up under us, so we give them our little, um, our ID, our doTERRA ID, which also is consequently is the same ID to log in to Awake Healer's website. Um, we, as we help other people become successful, we help them share with other people, we get paid. So the goal is to, in the first couple of months, make it so that you don't pay anything, that you're in fact making more money than you spend each month on the oil. So it's basically a free membership. We don't care if you build, if you, if you choose to make this a, your full-time job or you just want to pay for your membership. We would like to have you, though, pay for your membership so that you're getting the ayahuasca for free each month. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Yeah, so I think um, I'm ready for any questions. I, I um, The guidelines basically just say respect other people, um, no matter what it is, what their belief systems. And um, we want our community to be inclusive. And we don't want anybody uh, promoting anything that's illegal. We don't want anybody that... Uh, that would take lightly the sharing of other people's information, the sharing of their journeys. You know, I'm sure some of you could laugh at me talking about seeing a laser come down from the ceiling, you know, and, but that's my story. And, you know, um, if I was healed from it, why would anybody make fun of that? You know, and um, there's a lot of things I don't understand, you know, um, and, but I don't understand it. So, um, you know, if you, it, what are the, there's a quote that I just recently learned and is, it is like, um, the highest form of ignorance is rejecting something you know nothing about. <laughs> you know? I mean, and I've just, I, I've learned at, through my journey with plant medicine and these experiences, these spiritual experiences, that the more that I learn, the more I realize I don't know anything. <laughs> like I am a, I am a baby when it comes to uh, what I know. And um, so. Thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you for sharing your story. Um, thank you for being so open. And thank you for sharing this wonderful plant with humanity. That's, that's something in that resonates with me and Judy and the, we knew from the onset that this is something we want to be involved with uh, because plant medicine has changed our lives. So thank we you. Have, again. We have seen um, just, just personally our lives shift and change so much and elevate in a way that I never thought I would be doing this. I really didn't. Um, and it, it, really does bring me so much joy in what we do in working with the sacred plants now. Um, and I mean, cause that's what Iggy and I do fully. Like we both quit our corporate jobs and we, this is what, what we do. And it, it just 
lights us up on the inside when we see people change so much using these beautiful plant medicines and seeing lives go in a different direction or people being healed from their traumas or stopping you know medications antidepressant medications that they've been taking or um you know repairing relationships you know that they've uh, you know had falling out with family members or you know what or, or whatever that is but we truly see people change and stand in their power now yeah. and yeah. really come back to themselves as the the powerful goddesses and gods that that they are and so uh we know that even with you know just this form of microdosing just this the um ayahuasca vine you know itself over time you're going to see so much healing happen over time when you work with this beautiful plant and so and i and i also feel that you know if you feel guided to to go into a ceremony an ayahuasca ceremony this is good to work with the spirit of this plant before before having a, a journey um you know in peru or costa rica or brazil or or wherever and so to me plants have consciousness and when you work with these plants when you're open you'll start to receive messages they will the medicine talks to you and gives you guidance that's what i feel <laughs> gives you guidance and you start to you, when you listen to that guidance and you take action on that it really changes the trajectory of your life for the better yeah. and so this is why for me because it's happened with with me um i want to get this medicine out to every single person on this planet if everybody took ayahuasca we would not be in the state that we're in right now no, <laughs> so, we, that, that, that <laughs> yeah for sure so um we we understand like how powerful this medicine can be in your life and how it, it can just shift you so much and taking it in this drop you know form i mean it's not uh you don't have like a full on like journey so you're able to like go to work and do things and take care of your kids and drive and and just you know go about your daily life but you'll know notice subtle differences you'll start to notice maybe something you know here starts to shift and change like you feel more positive or inside you feel the sense of a peace um or for me like I, i'm sleeping better which is woo, awesome <laughs> and uh, I, i'm just feeling for myself it's balancing out my hormones a lot better um so i don't have as many um symptoms of menopause you know going on right now so i i know that the medicine is is helping me with with that so it it could so many um different things could happen depending on you and what is happening with you so this medicine has this intelligence and works with you and whatever you have going on and so i really have so much reverence again i have so much reverence you know for this beautiful beautiful plant that when i take the medicine every day it's like my own personal ceremony it's like my own that i have some right here i i take the the bottle and i hold it in my hand and i say a prayer for myself and and an intention for myself for that day whatever the intention is you know to to help me feel more peace or to help me with you know a person and communicating to help me with like physical symptoms or whatever you know it is i say an intention for myself every day and then i thank the medicine i thank her for being here on the planet and for this tremendous healing you know that that has occurred with so so many people so i mean that for me that's how how much i really honor honor this plant um, because it has 
changed changed my life so much. And so, um, you know, and I think the only person, everybody here is taking it, <laughs> um, except Michelle. Um, so, you know, we can talk to you about, you know, getting getting started with doTERRA and anybody who is watching this um, on the replay, you know, we'll put up our contact information. You can even, um, yeah. Before we do that, Michelle, do you have any questions? Do you, do you uh, have any co comments, questions? Anything you'd like to know? I'm just curious, um, just more on the microdosing of the this form. Um, I think I understand why why there is this approach since um, ayahuasca isn't exactly legal. Um, but I'm I'm curious for anybody who wants to say if, if other people have been doing it already, um, like how long have, were you microdosing this fine and until you first started to notice little changes or awakenings or, you yeah. know, other feelings and, and how did that progress for you over and over what period of time? I'm just curious. Could, could I answer that? Uh... You may. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm just a skeptical, I, I'm just a skeptic, but yet I've always been a, a spiritual person. Like my parents said when I was a little kid, I carry this little book around with me. It was like this big, this little book that said quotations from Jesus and his followers. And I think it was just a few books from the New Testament. I'd sleep with it like under my pillow at night and I was a missionary for a couple of years. So I was familiar with spirituality and like I was, I felt like I was in tune, but <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect with the uh, microdosing of ayahuasca. I figured taking a few drops under your tongue, what's that going to do? You know? And uh, because look at this, this is funny. I'm just sitting here. I've got, I have our family, we probably have every kind of tincture and medicine and you name it. We go to Costco and there's a road show and somebody's there and they're selling something lightning in a bottle. We buy it. Right. I mean, we tr tried it all. I should actually show you guys our, our kitchen pantry. We have every, but I mean, look, this is just sitting here at, at our, uh, on this table total barium. I don't even know what this is. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know. It's been here for a while. So I'm just, I'm sharing this with you because I, <laughs> I, I try things, but I've never really had much of a result is what I'm saying. I've never noticed much of a difference with any, anything. My first night that I microdosed, I did exactly what I was saying. Like I didn't expect anything. I just put it under my tongue. Like Dennis McKenna said, just like, just take it. And um, by the way, this is legal. There's no dimethyltryptamine in it, so it's legal. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we don't want to do anything illegal. Yeah. I thought I I thought I heard you say like. Well, no, I understood though the form that you were doing here was the legal form. I did not know there was a legal form. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was me. And and I uh, so I put five drops under my tongue, and I went to bed, and I was lucid dreaming. I don't know if you've ever loose, had lucid dreams. I had never had that in my life. And I was getting messages all night long. So bizarre, strange. I was seeing like, what's that show where they pull the thing down and it spins around? What is that? The Price is Right or Wheel of, For Wheel of Fortune and maybe? I don't know. Anyway, but it was instead of numbers, it was the alphabet. And one would spin and it hit a letter. And then another wheel would spin like, like, a, like, a, um, like the numbers on a, uh, on a lock, right? And the, the word, the, the, and, and words that were being spelled out that I'd never seen before. I'm like, what the heck? But I was aware, I was asleep, but I was conscious and I was grabbing my phone and then I would type in this word exactly how I saw it, I'm lucid dreaming. And I sleep with a CPAP machine. And normally I have between five, it gives me a report when I hit the power button in the morning, it tells me how many sleeping events I had. Normally I have between five and 10 sleep events. 
And I had had this machine for over a year and I hit the power button in the morning and I felt super rested. Like I hadn't felt that rested in a long time. And I hit the power button that says 0.0. .0. And I went, what in the hell? What? That's not possible. And when I microdose, it's possible. I actually, I'm going to admit to everybody right now, I have not microdosed in well over a month, probably two months. And you may say, well, why? <clears throat> it's because, forgive my language, shit was getting a little overwhelming for me. I, I had uh, at like 2 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon, I've had people explain to me now that I had like a Kundalini rising. But like I said, I'm new to all this, so I don't know what this meant. But if you ever have an experience of a Kundalini rising, you will probably wonder what in the hell is going on. And I felt more power in my body. I mean, I imagine like one of these superheroes and like the Marvel movies or whatever, which I don't really watch those movies, so I can't really talk about it. But I felt like if I went like this with my arm, I may turn into Superman and fly through my ceiling. That's what I felt like. <laughs> legit like i felt like i was superman and i go i don't understand this i don't know if i want to understand this this is a lot for me you know my wife and i between us we have nine kids i got to keep my feet on the ground like <laughs> and and that's and and you know what we all have our role that we play and i know what my role is and my role is to support you guys so if I have a Kundalini rising, which I don't even know what Kundalini, I don't know what that means. But if I have an experience like this that I don't understand, I'm backing away a little bit and I'm going, okay, you know what? I got to get the merchant account set up. I got to get this. I got Iggy needs this. I got to do this Zoom call. I, I can't go down every rabbit hole that I see in the yard. You know, I can't. And um, I honor all of those that do. I honor you guys with your ascension. And I feel that I'm a part of it too. You know, I mean, I'm growing as a person, but I'm trying to keep my feet on the ground, have the bills paid, make sure that the kids are in bed on time and everything else. And Kundalini Risings at 2, 2 p.m. on a Wednesday, when I've got boxing in an hour and I got to take the kids, I, I don't, honestly, I'm just scared. Uh, honestly, I'm just going, this, something is happening. There's a shift that's happening with me. And I know that the, the microdosing of ayahuasca has a part in it. And it's probably my destiny. I probably need to pick up the bottle and start microdosing again. And who knows, maybe I need to get used to wearing a cape and speedos. And maybe, I, maybe I am supposed to save the world. I don't know, but right now that's kind of a lot for me to take on. So how about I just finish the website and like help and help people go have these wonderful experiences. But I'm not, I'm not ready that I'm not ready yet, but you should experience something. Yeah. Matt, right away. You should I, I, let me, let me share my experience. And I, I'd like to say, Michelle, that everybody's experience is going to be different. It so much depends on where you are in your personal growth and your, in your consciousness, you know, what sort of traumas you've experienced in life, um, how much you've healed, it, it, what level of sensitivity you have as a person. It just, there's is, there is so many variables that we can't really predict, like when you're going to like feel something, but I feel that you will feel something at some point. Um, it, it's a matter of time. So for me, I was, for me, it was a little bit different because I was not microdosing for straight month because we had retreats coming on and I had to like lay off the medicine and I had to restart it and whatnot. But there was one period where I, I was taking it for a period of maybe two, maybe two and a half weeks. And I, and I had lucid dream experience like what Matt was describing, which was very powerful. And I've never had lucid dream like that before. And I was actually going back to my childhood and reliving some uh, some experiences of my life through 
somebody else's perspective. Like I was looking at myself from another person's perspective, like where I was growing up, where I was misbehaving, where I was being an ass to my parents, friends, family members, things that I needed to see. Uh, this was perhaps a blind spot that I was not seeing before. And it was a really powerful experience for me, something that I needed to see and address and accept and move past. And so that was just one experience that I've had. I, I believe that these plants, these sacred plants make us better people. I mean, they help us. They show us things. I mean, we still have free will and we need to take action. We need to make decisions for ourselves. Like, who do I choose to be now that I have this knowledge and this experience and, and um, this maybe wisdom that I was given through the plant. But it's up to us still. We have free will. And that medicine is not going to go against your free will. It's just going to show you things. So that, that, was, that was my experience. But nobody can guarantee to you what sort of experience you're going to have that's going to be very unique and special to you, to who you are as a, as a human being. I mean, we could share, I mean, Donna, Rebecca, Ariel, I mean, you guys could share your experience with the medicine because you guys have been do, like microdosing now for like a couple of months, I think, right? You guys have been doing it for a couple of months. So if you guys want to share something. Um, I would share. Um, I'm Michelle. So um, I think I started taking the Aya drops um, around July. And so what so, and I did notice them pretty quickly, but I also know that it's very subtle. And Mama Aya is very gentle and very loving. Um, like Judy, I would always set an intention. Um, and usually it was whatever emotional healing I need and physical healing. And I got exactly what I asked for. Because just slowly, um, I felt, you know, these emotions just coming out of nowhere at different times and um, just gently releasing um, lots of feeling um, and just kind of facing some of those emotions. Um, and so sometimes healing isn't always fun, but it's definitely necessary. And, and what I really like, I've tried um, different plant medicines and they're all so magical and powerful in their own way and they are a gift from the universe um, divine plants and um, they've changed my life um, completely i know that all of us have a story um, to share but they are um, very powerful the oils i've used for years um, and then you know so many other plants but these aya drops um yeah they just using it. And even I actually had to stop to Matt um, for a little bit because um, I teach high school. And when we went back to work, things were so crazy that I had to stay. Um, I had, there was so much happening for me internally that I just needed to take a break. But I did start taking them a few nights ago again. And, but I do love how subtle it is, but it's also powerful. The dreaming, I have had dreams of messages, visions, um, so the same, same thing as everyone else. Um, I've had a lot of peaceful feelings come through too. Um, so it's been, um, it's been a lot and it's been great. So um, I'm very, very grateful for this medicine and this opportunity. Um, because, yeah, Mama Aya, she's, she's powerful. And like I said, she's very gentle and loving. Um, and that's what I prefer. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, and Donna. So I thank prefer you. that too. I prefer, <laughs> I prefer loving and gentle. Please, please. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank are, you. Those of us who, who've gone on the retreats out of the country, uh, full, full ceremonial ayahuasca, uh, she can be pretty firm too. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we... You have to be careful what you wish for because you get that. Get it. it can be very, very <laughs> met that and you know you may not be ready for what's coming when you ask for certain things. So I haven't met that mama yet. <laughs> you can be very I she, Yes. I know she's in my future. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Did you want to share, Rebecca? Sure. Um, so two and a half years ago, I went to the Amazon for a month and um, had some really powerful ceremonies with Mother Aya and um, had a Kundalini awakening. And I didn't even know what a Kundalini was at that point. Um, and I had just woken up like a couple years before then. Um, pretty dramatic, you know. It's been, a re it's been five years, September 27th of this year. And so I really wish that I had, I mean, I don't wish, but had, I, had we had the uh, ayahuasca in this form, I think it would have been wonderful because she's very powerful in ceremony and she's very powerful this way, but I've, I've been doing like Matt, I'm kind of just taking my time. I just feel when she calls me, I'll, I'll either do it in the morning or night. I prefer to work with her at the night. Um, and it's, she's so gentle and she's just helped me so much integrate um, the ceremony actually, even two and a half years later, it, it's, she's, she's bringing things back up again so that I'm able to integrate this, this powerful galactic wisdom that she brought down. I mean, the stuff that came through was so galactic that, I mean, there's no words for it. There's really no words for it. So yeah, so it's starting to really work. And, um, oh, I'm just so grateful, Matt and Iggy and Judy and Donna. I can't wait to go to Mount Shasta next week. Yes, everybody, um, this, I, I knew in ayahuasca, I, I knew in the Amazon that ayahuasca will awaken the world. This is her this, this is why she's, she's been given to us from galactic. I mean, this is, she's a star, a star being herself. And um, like we all are, you know, we're all here to be a part of this great awakening. Of grateful, so grateful to have met Iggy and Judy. Um, you have no idea how much you guys have just helped my heart just open, open up again, you know. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so deeply grateful. So Michelle, you will, I, I, I absolutely can say 100% that whatever you need, she will, she will bring to you. And, and like Donna so eloquently says, she, she brings you what, what you need. So, you know, when you set your intentions, um, I, I always say with ease and grace, <laughs> because I, I know the power that she has. And although microdosing, I haven't had any, any um, crazy experience yet, but I think it's maybe because I'd been in ceremony before and I, you know, I purged all these millennia out, you know? Um, and so it's, it's, it's such a great, great medicine. And, and, and I don't do it every day. Like, um, maybe I'll do it a couple times a week. And, but I've only been doing three drops. So I'm going to go up to like, what, six? Is that what you? We usually recommend between three and five. Between three and five. Okay. Um, so maybe when you, you know, so maybe you can even start off with just three if you want to. That's what I've been doing. Three is kind of like my number, you know? And, um, but yeah, it's, it's so fun. And it's so, it's so beautiful to see how she'll come into your life and, and open up your heart and heal your brain, um, your pituitary, just everything. I, th I think she definitely works all over our body, all over our, our astral body too, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I wouldn't hesitate one bit. And, I, and I'm so grateful to, for Matt to offer this, the doTERRA um, essential oils, because those have also really helped, like just to have that and then to have the ayahuasca for free. And um, yeah. So yeah, and, and the beautiful yeah. thing is, sorry to, to interrupt, is the beautiful thing is that there is no commitment, as Matt said. You know, like you, if you find out after like taking it for a month that this is not working for you, you can sell the essential oils, you don't have to reorder anything, right? There is no commitment, you know? Does it work for you? Beautiful. You can continue working with it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and um, I also want to say that for Iggy and I, since we're located in, in Sacramento and, and our group leaders, that we're gonna provide meetings 
and hopefully we can meet. <laughs> we can meet uh, often, hopefully once a week, maybe. Um, but we're going to uh, do meetings when we meet in person. And for, for us, what we're going to do is we're going to have everyone um, who are members purchase the oils that are associated with each chakra. So we're starting that way. So we're going to start with the Earth Star Chakra, going to the Root Chakra, going to um, the sacral chakra and all, you know, all the way up. And we're going to take one month and use the ayahuasca drops with those essential oils that, that are specifically for that chakra. And then when we have our meetings, we can, you know, um, talk about it and, and, you know, what are our experiences um, have been in that month, you know, with those certain oils and with the with the ayahuasca drops too, as well. So th that's how you know we're doing it. I just know that when we focus on an energy center, when we're oh. using the oil specific to an energy center, um, we're going to put intention in there in that specific specific area of our bodies and our energetic bodies too. And using the oils is going to help heal, help heal, you know that as well. So for for me. Um, it's not just for me, it's not just like taking whatever kind of oils you can order whatever you want, but we'd like for everyone to order these specific oils for every chakra and then work with the, those essential oils for a whole month, for a whole month and see what that does, you know, for, mm -hmm. for you. So that's how we're doing it here, Michelle, in, in Sacramento. Just wanted you to know that. Yeah. Judy, I'm so excited for that because that combination of the plant medicines is going to be so much more enhanced. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. Yes, yes. So we haven't set a date yet for our, um, you know, for our, our meetings. Um, so we're thinking about that for for the future and. Hopefully that will happen real soon. Hopefully, so we'll we'll see. We'll see. Hey uh, guys, um, Iggy, Judy, and the rest of you, I've got to take a couple of people to the airport. Okay, thank you so in, much, in a Matt. Few hours, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little get a little shut eye, yeah. but I just have to say I love you. Oh, I love I just love you, and um, you're such beautiful people, and I'm so grateful to have met you guys as well and uh, thank you for this opportunity to share a little bit tonight yeah. so. all right tell laura i said hi give her big hugs for me and everybody else there I, too. I, I will all right guys all right. Thank you. take care you guys thank all you right. bye, all right. Matt. Bye, bye so, so what what we're going to do is we're going to put up our information so for anybody this watching up. this on the replay um you can contact Iggy and I, um, and there's all of our information there, our phone number, email, our doTERRA ID, the meetup, if anybody's watching this who found us on uh, meetup, our Facebook, our Instagram, our YouTube, everything, everything yeah. is, is up on, on there. And if you guys have any questions about the medicine or about doTERRA, the essential oils, anything like we we are here we yeah. we truly yeah. are here for you because we we know the power of these sacred plants and just like matt and laura we want to get them out to the world i mean like i said i wish every person on this planet could could microdose ayahuasca because things would shift so rapidly um if that happens or if everybody drank a cow <laughs> that would change that would change lives um too and um, so please contact us if you have any questions about um, anything. We are, we are here to be of service to all of you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Iggy? No, that's it, I guess. Right. Well, thank you guys for joining us this Friday yeah. night. <laughs> and, um, we're just so happy to just do this work and really connect with these plants and 
share the magic, the magic of these uh, plants with, with, with everyone. And so Michelle, yes, you can contact us, Michelle, you know, and if you're interested in um, joining the Awake Healer and just to let, let you guys know, we just went to Utah this past weekend and met Matt and Laura and other Awake Healer, you know, members too. And let me just say, what a beautiful group of people, right? Like these, they are so, well, you know, they're all healers. Everybody, I mean, we met Leo, who is the Iboga priest, who is, you know, um, facilitating the combo um, training this week. And wow, he, and he's never been to a cacao ceremony, which is weird. And he lived on a cacao farm in Africa. And so, but he said like, that was so powerful for him to experience that cacao ceremony. Um, but these people who, who, who work with plants already, or, you know, they do Reiki, or they are, you know, energy healers, or whatever, they are just um, beautiful. So you really get a chance to meet just amazing, amazing people um, mm -hmm. too. And I know that for, for us, we connected with so many of them that I know we're, we're like, we're going to go visit them or they want to come over here, you know, and um, it's just like our soul family is expanding now all around the world. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm grateful for, for that. Had it not been for this opportunity with a wake healer, we would have met all those other other people uh, too. So that's another thing is creating this 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 community. I mean, we know understand that plant medicine is not for everyone. We understand that you have to feel called to the sacred plant. There has to be something within you that is is pulling you and drawing you to the sacred plants. And so we understand it's not for everyone. And when you explain <laughs> to people like what kind of experiences, you know, sometimes they think you're crazy. Like what, like what? And so it's nice to be in a group of people who understand, who have had experiences with the sacred plants and really understand the deep healing that can happen. And also the, 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 the shift in your life where the medicine will, will really align you with your soul purpose. And it's awesome to be in the company of these amazing awakened um, souls on this planet. So that's another thing that I'm so, so, so grateful for. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yes, thank you guys. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for being here with us this, this evening and sharing, sharing, because this is how we're gonna change the world is when we all share together, when we share our experiences and share our hearts. Mm -hmm. So anybody that um, is interested, please contact us and we would love to talk to each and every single one of you. Exactly. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I love you all so much. Good night. We'll see each other soon. Thank you. Yes. Love you too. Bye, everyone.